know, part of what Slack Key is, really a big part of it is the tradition, right? And, and the, the music um, about the place. I mean, you can just hear one or two bars of Slack Key guitar and your mind instantly goes to Hawaii. It's synonymous, um, you know, some of those sounds. Um, just the turnaround. Chimes. Like the beginning of Mokula'ia here is for the, the drive out there. And so it's one of those drives you can roll down the window, let your hand do this in the wind, you know. And I love that. I, I, I think that Mokula'ia is just a, um, such a cruise place. It's so, it's peop that's where people go to cruise. You go to relax, you go to the beach. You don't go out there to be like, well, let's go take care of some business and go to Mokula'ia. It's, you know, it's, you go to, to unplug. And, and, um, I thought this rhythm sounded like a, a, an easy country drive on a Sunday morning or something. Um, yeah. So it's like it, those little details. It's like finding things in the music. Um, I have another um, composition for um, Kahuku, um, and this one actually is um, kind of dedicated to the cows um, because I always thought, wow, what a great life to be a Hawaiian cow. Like prime real estate, great views, you're eating organic. You know, I mean, the end is pretty tough, but other than that, life is great. And so, um, you know, the beginning. felt sort of lazy, right? Like a cow into eating grass. different views as they mosey on over one pasture, then maybe to the next pasture. There's another view. The song Pua Hone is um, honey blossom, pua flower, hone honey, and it represents the love that grows between two people over time. You know, and so knowing the story behind that, knowing that he wrote that song to propose to his wife, uh, to be wife, um, and you know he wrote it when he was he was on the mainland, I think performing at a prison or something like that, even um, at that time, and um, realized that you know I, I'm homesick, I need to be with this woman, and, and anyway. So it for her um, and that's beautiful you know and so I try to tell some of that story and that's that's the, the message of the song I 
I think it's important to have a reverence for the tradition of slack key and to understand what I'm doing, um, although it may not be, um, you know, old school traditional slack key, um, it's sort of falling into a, um, the natural um, progression of music that that's always been. I mean, Gabby Pahinui was not a traditional slack key musician at one point. He was considered progressive and he had too many chords. It's just like language, it's forever growing, it's forever changing and, and changing with the times. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing. That doesn't have to, that's not necessarily something to be afraid of. I think that, that change isn't necessarily change, it's growth. It just develops more, it adds to the tradition, it makes it richer and fuller and more diverse. I think that the tradition is just growing more and more as it's as it's re reaching more and more people and everywhere that it lands it's going to take on a, a life of its own.